Let me make sure no booger in my eye or my nostrils. Good morning. Hey, it always trips me out when some females want to test their man to see if she can trust him, to see if he can be faithful to her. Like, come on, man. This man used to be out there doing his thing, experiencing pleasures with any female he wants to experience pleasure with. He has decided to lock everything down and be committed to you and be obligated to you. You know that he has been. And all of a sudden, you want to tempt him. You want to test him to prove something. I think that's very selfish. That's very selfish, and it's just going to bring you unwanted frustration, and you have to blame yourself for it because that's dumb as hell. That's really dumb. If you do this, if you ever did this, if you're thinking about this, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. That's a dumb move. Don't do it. Don't think about it. Stop thinking about it. Stop your brain right now. It is crazy. It's dumb. It's not. It's not making any sense. Okay? Why would you want to do that? <laughs> Why would you want to do that? Don't you know that a lot of men find it pretty difficult to walk away from a seduction? Don't you know that when, 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 when people get in that situation with the opposite sex, don't you know like the left side of the brain pretty much switches over with the right side of the brain because the chemistry be all out of whack, the blood or running, blood in your brain start to run opposite direction, you are sweating, all kinds of areas on your body is getting all moist, moisture is filling everywhere, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to do that? Why could, why, why you want to go and do that? Why you want to go and do that? And then you want to do that with your single friend. <laughs> if even your single friend got a man, like, <laughs> if she's, it, come on, man. Let me ask you a question. How does your man kiss? Is he a good kisser? When he stares at you, when he touches you, when he stares at you, does he stare deep into your soul? Does he make some kind of connection that no other man can make with you? Why would you do that? Now, why would you want to go and do that? Why would you want your friend to experience any of that? Why, why, why would you want to do that? Huh? Listen. The word of God said, Thou shall not test the Lord your God. Okay? God is God. He said, do not test me. Your man is man, human, like you and I. Your friend, sister girl, is human like you and I. It's, so we, we are weak. We are in the flesh. Okay? We are quick to, we are quick to, to, to let ourselves down, let, it, let, let alone other people. Okay? So why would you want to test somebody who is weak in the flesh, <laughs> who can just, who can just give in any time? Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to do that? And besides, you don't give somebody a test without letting them know. I know that sounds stupid, but <laughs> if your professor gives you tests without letting you know, you think you're going to pass? The probability of you passing is pretty slim. So don't test your man without letting him know. Say, hey, baby, I, I want to know if you <laughs> are loyal to me, if you're going to be faithful to me, if I can trust you. So there's something I'm going to do. At least say that. <laughs> but you don't do that. You expect the man to pass the test? Come on, man. Females, we, a lot of us can walk away from it because we are quick to feel violated. But for men, maybe one out of uh, 500 will walk away from being seduced by a female. Come on, man. <laughs> like, really? And then if your friend goes through with it and your man goes through it, you want to get pissed off. You want to start fussing and you want to start fussing at your friend. No, 
You prepare the table before your friend in your own presence, in the presence of your man, so that she can prosper, so that she can taste your meal. You prepare the table. You set the table for your friend to come and taste your meal and chew all the bones and lick the plates, okay? And then wash it and set it down for you to go ahead and continue. You prepare the table in your own presence. And now... You want to flip the table and throw things everywhere, around, ever, everywhere because your friend that came and had her some good time. Don't do it. Don't do it, though. Don't do it. And because if it goes through and, there's, and they successfully enjoy each other's company, <laughs> you got no right to be talking about, B, B, I thought I could trust you. Shut up. You knew that was my man we engaged. Shut up. You was even going to be my bridesmaid. Shut up. I trusted you. We've been, we been friends since childhood. Shut up. My mama know you. I know your mama. We had sleepovers since, since, since we were one year old. Shut up. Shut up. I was there for you when you was having your baby. I was there for you when you were sick. I was there for you when you had an accident. How could you do this to me? Shut up. Go see a psychiatrist. Something is wrong with you. You should have never done that. Period. 